Hello, boys and girls. Welcome to Virtual Team Jesus Sunday School. We're learning about Jesus by looking for signs on the Believer's Highway. Today, we'll meet two sisters who were very, very sad and... Judy, what are you... Why are you all wrapped up like that? You look like a mummy. Pretty cool, isn't it? Don't I look like one of those mummy dudes? I thought I might try and sneak up on Gordy and scare him. So, you think you look pretty scary? Sure, don't you think so? I think if a mummy came back to life and started walking around, it would be super scary. Well, Judy, did you know that today we're going to read about a time in the Bible when a mummy-looking dude did come back to life and he visited his sisters? I, for real? Yikes, I bet he scared the bejeebers out of them. Well, actually not. They were quite happy to see him. Think of it, Judy. If someone you really loved died, and then that person came back to life, how would you feel? Um, I hadn't really thought about it for real. I mean, I guess it would be really sad if someone you loved died. Yes, that can be one of the saddest things that can happen to us. Well, then... Why does God let it happen? Well, that's what the sisters in today's Bible event were wondering. Why would Jesus let their brother die? So, why? Jesus can heal anything, right? He can, and we don't always know why he doesn't sometimes. But in this case, Jesus wanted to show that he is God's son and has the power to bring people back to life. Even today? Especially today. After people die, Jesus will bring those who are his followers back to life with him in heaven. That part sounds pretty awesome, but I still think it's super sad when someone dies. It very often is, and it's very normal to be sad and to cry. In fact, we'll see that even Jesus cried. He did? Sure he did. The man who died was a dear friend of Jesus, and so were his sisters. Jesus cried when he saw them crying, and when he saw the tomb where his friend was buried. Man, I'm going to need some of those tissues. All this sad talk is making me start to cry. It's fine to cry, but you know Jesus helps us wipe away those tears because he has the power over death and the power to give life. Today we'll discover that Jesus wipes away our tears of sorrow because Jesus brings people back to life. Okay then, can we see the Bible video? Sure thing. Let's take a look. Today's Bible event is from John chapter 11. A man named Lazarus lived in Bethany with his two sisters, Mary and Martha. Now Bethany was about two miles from Jerusalem, fairly close by, and Jesus often stayed at their home when he was in the area. One day, Lazarus became very sick. Jesus was not with them at the time, but teaching in the region on the other side of the Jordan River. So Mary and Martha sent a messenger to go and get him quickly. The messenger found Jesus and said, Sir, your friend Lazarus is very sick. Jesus said, The purpose of Lazarus' illness is not death, but for the glory of God. But instead of rushing to Bethany, he stayed where he was for the next two days. Then Jesus told his disciples, Let's go to Judea. His disciples protested, Why do you want to go near Jerusalem? There are people there who are trying to kill you. Jesus replied, Our friend Lazarus has gone to sleep. I am going to wake him up. His disciples thought that Lazarus must be resting. So Jesus told them plainly, Lazarus is dead. This will give you another opportunity to believe in me. Come, let's go to him. When they arrived at Bethany, they were told that Lazarus had already been in his tomb for four days. When Martha got word that Jesus had arrived, she went to meet him, but Mary stayed home. If you had been here, Martha told Jesus, my brother would not have died. Jesus told her, I am the resurrection and the life. The one who believes in me will live, even though they die. And those who live and believe in me will never die. Martha rushed to get Mary, who came and fell down at the feet of Jesus. She said, If you had been here, my brother would still be alive. When Jesus saw her crying, along with the, all the others who were crying, tears came to his eyes. Where is Lazarus buried? he asked. Jesus was taken to the tomb. It was a cave with a heavy stone rolled across its door. Roll the stone aside, Jesus told them. Martha protested, by now the smell will be terrible. 
He has been in there for four days. But Jesus said, Didn't I tell you that you would see a wonderful miracle from God if you believe? So they rolled the stone aside. Then Jesus said with a loud voice, Lazarus, come out. And Lazarus came out of the tomb, still wrapped up in the grave clothes, his face muffled in a headcloth. Jesus told them, Unwrap him and let him go. Many of the Jewish people who were there with Mary and saw this miracle believed that Jesus was the Son of God. However, some of the Jews and the Pharisees publicly announced that anyone seeing Jesus must report him immediately so that they could arrest him. Here we are again on the Believer's Highway. You know, some roads get really bumpy sometimes. I guess even our journey of faith can have bumps, like when bad things happen, like people getting sick and dying. Today's Bible event was super sad at the beginning, wasn't it? I don't even know what I'd do if someone in my family got sick and died, even Gordy. I mean, he's a little annoying and he teases me, but he's my brother. I hope today's sign says something about how not to be sad when that bad things happen. Oh, here's a sign. Let's see what it says. When you need help, look up and say, Hmm, this one seems a little familiar, doesn't it? I think we've seen a sign like this before. What does it mean by when you need help? I need help with lots of things, like tying my shoes or reaching things on a tall shelf. But I guess there are bigger things too, right? Like when people get really sick or even die. I sure feel like I need help with things like when that happens. Oh, I see the next sign. I wonder if it's another one we've already seen. Believe blank. Everything will be blank. Yes, I think we saw one of these a few weeks ago. Do you remember them? Let's get these blanks filled in. First it says, believe blank. What are we supposed to believe? I'll bet you can help me with this one. Can you guess it? We believe Jesus, right? So that's the first part. Then what happens when we believe in Jesus? Everything will be okay. Yeah, we know that if we believe Jesus, no matter what happens, everything will be okay. We did it. Let's go back and tell Deaconess Kim what we thought. So what did you think, Judy? I think it's super cool how Jesus proved that he has the power to raise people mm -hmm. from the dead and bring them back to life. Very good, Judy. I'm glad you listened. And I actually have a box of tissues here that can help us remember that. Like, how on earth can tissues remind us of Jesus? Like this. See, Jesus is like the first tissue in the box, right? He died for our sins and he was buried. Now, to show that, I'll tuck this tissue back into the box, right? But Jesus did not stay dead. Instead, he rose up from the dead like this. And since Jesus rose from the dead, look at what happens. In this case, another tissue pops up. That is like another person who believes in Jesus, and another, and another. So, because Jesus popped up, because Jesus rose from the dead, that means we will too? That's right. Each new tissue reminds us of another person who believes in Jesus. Even if they die, they'll live forever with him in heaven. That's kind of cool. Right. So anytime you see a tissue box and you pull a tissue out and another one follows, it can remind you how Jesus rose from the dead. Because of what Jesus did, all those who believe in him will also rise. In John chapter 11, verse 25, Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. The one who believes in me will live even though they die. Jesus proved that he had the power to raise people from the dead and bring them back to life. I can think of another way that tissues can remind us of Jesus. Oh, really? What's your idea? They can remind us of how, when we are sad, if someone dies, Jesus is like tissue that helps wipe away our tears. Wow, that's right. Jesus gives us comfort and wipes away our tears and sadness if someone dies. That was really good, Judy. Now it's time to pray and head home. Will you pray for us? Yes. Dear God, thank you for Jesus who brings people back to life. Thank you that we don't have to be afraid of death. Thank you because we know Jesus rose from the dead and we will too. Thank you for wiping away our tears of sadness when someone dies. In Jesus' name we pray. 
Amen. Amen. Well, that's it for this time. Thanks for rolling along with us on the Believer's Highway. I hope you'll join us again next time. Until then, have a great week. Remember that Jesus loves you always.